Hello guys, we continue our new tradition of inertia course and lesson number three will be about using eloquent API resources in inertia, although technically it's not an API call. Let's see what I mean by that. In this video, I want to clarify some things about the data that comes from eloquent into the web controllers and then to inertia. The thing is that although you don't use API directly, you still can use API resources or Eloquent API resources to transform that data. So for example, in my previous project, in the original one, the content was stripped to 50 symbols and that created at date was formatted as date time string. And for that, I used API Eloquent resources. So in the API controller, there was post resource collection from post all and that API resource was transforming content to 50 symbols and create it at this. So you can do the same thing in the web controller of doing post all. And why you need to do that? Two reasons. First, to format the data however you want, but also keep in mind that all that data is passed to the front end. If you are dealing with web project without API or without inertia or view or anything, that is the backend. So the front end, the browser user doesn't see all that data unless it is shown in the blade, right? But in the Vue.js and inertia case, everything is seen on the front end. So if you pass post all, let's take a look at the browser and open the network tab. We refresh and how it works. We have posts request and then in the response, you can see data page with the component and then with all that data as JSON, including title, content, and all of that. So long, long string. And maybe you don't want to pass all of that, or maybe you want some things to be hidden. So for example, although you don't show some column in the Vue.js, but it is still shown here, which may be again a security issue, especially if you're working with like user data. So you may accidentally pass some token or some hidden field or something. So for both of those reasons, I do suggest to transform your data anyway. And of course you can do something like select only the fields you need and then get, but also you can use the same eloquent API resources, although technically it's not API, but you can still do post resource collection, post all. The only problem with that is that eloquent API resources return the data with a wrapper data. So if we take a look at the official documentation of eloquent resources, you will have this. So it wouldn't work by default. You need to turn off that data and there's a setting for that in the app service provider. You can do JSON resource without wrapping. So if we go to app service provider in the boot, we paste here and JSON resource should be auto completed with PHP storm. Here's JSON resource on top. Now we save and if we refresh our table now, we have the same table with content of 50 symbols and with created at as string. And if we go to network and refresh and see what's inside in data page, we have content shortened with dot, dot, dot and date only in the right format. So we pass lower amount of data and pass only actually what we need to pass. So I wanted to demonstrate to you that you can use eloquent API resources in inertia, although technically you don't use API from Laravel. 